So we're in the Marion Bay Caravan Park and we're just planning out our day fishing. This morning we're at Jim Beach on the York Peninsula. So Martin, we have to figure out where the best place to fish is today. Yep. So let's just go through the conditions and what's happening with the fishing activity. It's a really lovely spring day, it's a bit windy, but the sun's just come out. So we're just going to have a few hours on the beach and then we're going to head onto the rocks to do a bit of fishing off the rocks into the sunset. Wow, it's beautiful. Let's see how we go. What kind of a fishing day is it? What's the fish activity? Fish activity is 63 out of 100. So okay. it's not too bad. So is that average? I think they call that average. So it's not too bad. So here is 4% chance of zero millimetre rain. Okay, <laughs> so it's not really going to rain. The colours with the sun out are so lovely. That looks, that looks pretty good. Looks it's pretty not good. as windy as I thought. No. The wind's definitely coming from that south easterly. Yeah. So the water's a bit murky. All right, so the wind's not real good. The rain's good, the temperature, yeah, we can live with it. Temperature's not too bad. Yeah, it's, it's more when you're standing on the beach, you don't really want it to be raining. So the water's definitely a bit milky and churned up. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit milky, which is maybe not a good sign. We've found that when the water clarity's not good, that the fish don't necessarily come. There's a lot of seaweed around. This bay would be useless to fish in today with all that seaweed. What are the tides doing? Tides. This is really important. Tides. So. That's high tide. High tide this morning was at 3 a.m. So the next high tide is at 3 p.m. So it's the minor high tide at okay. 3 p.m. So it's about 11 o'clock now. So we're just planning out this afternoon where we might fish. So three o'clock's the minor high tide. When's the next low tide? The next low tide is at 9 p.m. All right. So when we're going to be out fishing, it's going to be rising to the high tide at three o'clock and then starting to drop off. Okay, so given all of this, we have to decide where to fish. It's a campground just here. You can camp right on the beach. That campground, it is actually in the national park. So you have to have page of fees to be able to stay there. But this part of the beach, this is out of the National Park. All right, so we've got south easterly, south easterly winds that are quite strong. So this is Yorks, where we are. And the green, the the green arrows are the wind direction. And we're, we're down here. Marion Bay. So there is no way we're fishing at Marion Bay today because it'll be in our face. The wind will be in our face. Check out Jim Beach first maybe and just see if there's much seaweed around and what it looks like and hopefully we'll get ourselves some dinner. Jim Beach, it's nice and clean. There won't be much wind down there, it's pretty protected. I think it'll be nice and sheltered for sure. Chose the right side of the peninsula. Yep. So we're at Marion Bay, southeasterly wind. So we're going to fish on either Jim Beach or Gleason's Landing. We'll get there before high tide, fish into low tide. 14 degrees, not too bad. No rain. It's looking all right. It's not too bad. It's and not the best day. No, and the fishing reports, we've just read all the local fishing reports and there's not been a whole lot going on. We might get some salmon trout. There's a bit of late mullet around the place. Tommies are around, so who knows? 
all you can do is get out there because you don't catch anything unless you've got your rod in the water or your line in the water. Look at those waves rolling in, Martin. That's beautiful. Yeah, a bit cloudy and yuck, but other than that, no seaweed. Bit of a trough over here. Try there first. Uh, the yeah, way. there's a slightly darker green colour, isn't there? There's no way I'm walking down there. No? <laughs> Halfway? No, down the end. Oh no, but just halfway down I thought I could see. Before the rocks in the middle. See how there's rocks in the middle? <laughs> and you dress warmly and be prepared for a bit of a windy day. I'm going to wear my neck warmer today. Easy, let's, let's do, do it. it. Just there, it looks like there's a little deep patch. A little trough there, so we'll just have a go here. Alright, so there's no staircase on this beach. Doesn't look too bad. Wow, the sun's come out. It's really nice. Look at that. It's just suddenly turned into a lovely day. What about the weather? It's not looking that flash, I have to say. The weather? Yeah. Is it going to rain? It is a massive 14 degrees. 14? Oh my goodness. Feels, doesn't feel 14 at the moment. So it's pretty easy walking down there until we reach this point. I think, I think this is all right because there is the option of going around a bit. Might actually get a bit warm here. Wow, I've got too many <laughs> layers on. Wow, look at this. Martin, this is lovely. This is lovely. I like, there's no wind down here. It's just totally sheltered down here. This is great. And the wind speed is 17.5 kilometres per hour. Yeah. Southeasterly. Southeasterly. Okay, and that's pretty windy, that wind speed for beach fishes. Wow. <laughs> oh, I love fishing. Being by the ocean. <laughs> So good. Woo! And he's out. Don't get your feet wet. <laughs> I've got the wrong shoes on today as well. Doesn't matter, I'll just get wet feet, I don't care. was an average day, so fish activity, average, correct. In fact, that was probably being generous. <laughs> it's below average. But anyway, Martin at least caught two fish. The tides? Perfect. Perfect, they were bang on. Exactly what it said, yeah. Yeah, high tide was definitely around three o'clock, so that was correct. The weather? Weather was correct. There was no it rain. rain turned into a beautiful day. The wind was exactly like that. It was. But that beach was sheltered, so it didn't really matter that it was yeah. a bit windy. Okay, we're back. So you would have seen from the footage that we didn't really catch many fish today. In fact, I didn't catch any. Martin caught a couple. <laughs> I really think I'm going to need sunscreen today. Incredible. Day started off really grey, cold. Now the sun's come out. It actually feels really quite warm. And like I could get sunburned. So we purposely went on this side because it would be sheltered from the wind. So that worked. It worked. Now there's not much line on this rod. So I won't be able to cast out very far, which is fine, because often these fish just hang around in the shallows anyway. The temperature, well, it felt like more than 14, didn't it? Yep, I was in a t-shirt at one stage. And I was wishing that I'd worn a t-shirt and we had sunscreen on. So that was good. So the temperature was good. Wow, look at that. Seaweed, it's going to 
be a challenge. And this is just a little bit. Some of those bits out there are so huge. off when you get seaweed on. I mean I thought moving down here would get me away from it. But no. I'm just gonna try not to break my, my line. So what went wrong? <laughs> what went wrong? Well <laughs> when we pulled up and looked at the beach we should have known better because the water was milky. It had that it wasn't clear, it had that milky look to it. And I had seaweed. Yeah, I caught a lot of seaweed today. Which you couldn't really see from the beach. No, no, not looking down on it, it looked really nice. And then as soon as we were fishing, we were just reeling in the seaweed. So that was, that just wrecked it, didn't it? Yeah, it's a lesson learned. My big seaweed fish, the worst kind. It's still there, that's good. Less it's, mil it's milky and seaweedy, don't go near it. Just go to the next go beach. Go to the next beach, because we wasted a day. <laughs> we wasted a day. <laughs> oh, Martin's caught a fish. I wonder what that is. It's like maybe it's a little Where's salmon yours, trout. Linda? Hopefully it's a Tommy. Let's check it out. If it's a Tommy, we can use it as bait or pop it in the smoker tonight. Yeah, it's best, yeah, if it's nice clear water, then the mullet would have been there. This is 23 to the tip to the tail. What's a cat? Salmon trout. It's a meat pie for dinner, <laughs> which is all right. We've got this one little salmon trout, so that's not going to get us very far. And someone left a comment about, oh, do we catch fish every day? So the answer to that is, <laughs> no. no, we don't. Well, I caught zero. <laughs> I caught zero. Martin at least caught two, even if only one of them was a keeper. So that was, that was day one. Gene Beach, beautiful, but we should have known better and kept on driving today. <laughs> this is Fishing Sister saying goodbye.